everyone. I'm Damon from the Gentleman Barbers. Um, just going to do on Ricky's beard. So we're just going to do a nice, short, tidy beard, which is just a fade coming up from the fade that we've done earlier. Tidied up the moustache and really just sort of try and chisel a little bit more of his shape of his face to reduce the old majority of our bulk. It's been builded up and then obviously overgrown over here. Okay, let's get started. First of all, what I'm going to do is use a booze and backing beard balm to try to blow dry it out any sort of hair that's just been out of shape and it's got to use plenty of it to try to get into working into the beard before you start cutting in and just to sort of blow dry it and at least on see where we um, where we are in terms of the the length and how much we can take it off. I'm trying to work it in properly everywhere. Little knocks and cracks of uh, beard. Would you like to, um, okay, just watch your hair back for me, please. Just using hair dryer and the round brush to, to blow dry it out. The reason I blow dried it is to see at the true length of actual Ricky's beers to then, then see and then judge exactly of how much we can take it down without being in too short. Scoopers. First of all, I was just going to start with the sides. And like I said earlier, just going to do a nice fade. We're just going to start off with our shortest part of our top sideboard and I work my way down. Just reducing the quickest way to reduce the bulk, the beard. And I was just gonna start blending it in. So as I go along, I'm trying to uh, notice any sort of hair that stick out and then try to smooth it out. That's the one I'm giving me the final finish and any excess hair stick out just as sliding and try to smooth it out so after we're just going to come back with the scissors and try to refine all the rest of the um, blend using a detailer so just to sort of reduce the majority of the hair, just getting it closer to his skin. And that's by using the foils afterwards just to use it, clean up the excess to really define our fade. Just going to define the lines first by using my uh, detailers, sort of an area that I'm thinking, and just the most natural looking. After that, we'll go over with a razor and a shaving cream, try to really define the line, make it look super sharp looking. Just going to use a number five guard just to reduce the bulk out of moustache. So obviously we reduced it quite a lot of length around the sides so you just want to all looking nice and even. So I'm going to blend it in and look in a more a natural shape and then just keep going over and looking for any sort of little wispy bits on a little loose hair or any sort of hair that's out of shape smooth it out to really shape the beard and make it look extra sharp just 
just using the texturing scissors, thinning scissors, whichever you like to call them, just to sort of break out the double bulk out of uh, certain areas of beards as the beards kind of grow in low and the different uh, thickness in the different areas. So this just helps me reduce them under the bulk and really refine the fade as well. I think this is a like, sort of a, what we're going to go for. So now I'm just going to move on to the other side. So like what we've done earlier, reducing the majority of the bulk first, and then we're going to start blending in and shaping our beard, matching the other side of what we've done earlier. This is the easiest and the quickest way of trying to uh, get the sh beard into the shape, not having to go through the different guards. Just doing a number five through the middle just seems like a decent uh, a length to me. It doesn't look too short, it still kind of keeps a nice shape and really looking tidy. Okay, I'll go with the one. Now you can see the beards just start taking shape right the face and any excess hair that looks out of shape you just start shaping smoothing it out just reducing the sun bulk and taking on some of the length of the lips so everything fits perfectly with the rest. She don't want it to be having a heavy, too heavy, heavy moustache in comparison to your nice and tamed beard. Okay. Inducing just the excess bulk like the thickest, heaviest of the Ricky's beard, just so everything balances and just give a nice and seamless blend. To do with the moustache, I want it to be trimmed but not overly chiselled so it doesn't to be too separate from the from the beard itself. So everything just looks more natural. Now that we came into the end of the beard trim, I'm just gonna go over with the razor just around the cheeks area just to sort of define the lines and make it where really the fade stand out. Just gonna use a little bit of a cream. Not too much, just to sort of create a bit of a barrier in between the skin and the razor. So then at least I can still see what I'm doing and whereabouts the, my line is. 